After World War II, many European countries suffered major devastation due to aerial attacks, exhaustion of treasuries, and food shortages. Also, two superpowers emerged, the U.S. and the USSR, and they were in conflict, the Cold War. To combat the destruction of these European countries, Secretary of State George Marshall made a speech in front of the graduating class of Harvard University, in which he described a plan for European financial aid, officially called the European Recovery Program, or Marshall Plan. French Foreign Minister Georges Bidault and British Foreign Secretary Ernest Bevin created the Committee of European Cooperation. The Soviet Union was also invited in order to avoid showing mistrust, but they declined. Stalin was originally accepting the plan, however, he changed his mind when he learned that the U.S. would also be sending money to Germany as well, in which they hoped to um, influence with their communist beliefs. The Marshall Plan was seen as anti-Soviet, so Stalin issued a compulsory Eastern Bloc rejection. Countries who rejected the plan were re rewarded, while those who accepted it were criticized or abated. Marshall Plan encouraged industrial and economic growth in Europe. Also, it created political stability and reduced discontent within countries. Marshall Plan is now a metaphor for a large-scale government program that solves specific world issues. Finally, total loans from 1945 to 1953 came to about $44.3 billion. In general, Marshall Plan played a key part in forming Europe and European countries the way we see them today.